In October 2023, Lionel Messi shocked the world by winning his 8 Ballon d'Or. However, many fans from around the world are debating against each other if he actually deserved it. Oh, one thing for sure. This was definitely not the first time fans argued against the Ballon d'Or winners, especially Lionel Messi. So let's travel back in time when young Messi won his first Ballon d'Or, which was 2009. In that year, Messi won the UCL, La Liga, Copa del Rey, FIFA Club World Cup, UEFA Super Cup, and the Super Copa de España. This was the first time a team ever won the sex double, so it would only be right to award the best player from that team which was Leo who scored 38 goals and 18 assists. So it's a no-brainer to award Messi the Ballon d'Or right. No, God, please, no! If y'all remember, the most infamous match in football history occurred in the second leg of the semi-finals of the UCL between Chelsea and Barcelona. And that yeah, sure. it was definitely Perfect. Chelsea who would have won in the semis if it was not to bad refereeing. Hence, the actual final should be between Man United and Chelsea which meant second place, Ronaldo could have won more than two trophies. Me saying Ronaldo should have won the 2000 Ballon d'Or is definitely scary. But the truth is, sir, I am a Messi. I am not saying that Ronaldo should have won or Messi did not deserve the Ballon d'Or, but it could have had other possibilities too. Secondly, 2010, the more controversial one, the three main competitors are the GOAT, Iniesta and Snegider. Messi won the La Liga and Supercopa de España with Barcelona and scored a whopping 60 goals. Additionally, Iniesta also won the World Cup. Snyder won the treble, which are the UCL, Serie A, FIFA Club, World Cup, UEFA, Super Cup, and Copa Italia with Inter Milan. Not only that, he also led Netherlands to the World Cup Finals. I would argue that being in a World Cup Final should not be an achievement as if it did. It would decrease the value of actually winning the World Cup, same with any other trophy. Therefore, I eliminate Zinedjader out of the debate as both Iniesta and Snyder won the same type of trophies, except for some, where the World Cup is definitely better than the FIFA Club, World Cup, UEFA, Super Cup, and UCL combined. So, then we gotta see if 60 goals is better than a World Cup. It's an obvious one. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I would say a World Cup could only be equal to a goal. A tally of more than 85. Minimum. Hence, Iniesta deserved the 2010 Ballon d'Or. It would be damn difficult to argue against the 2011 and 2012 seasons, as Leo definitely deserved those Ballon d'Ors. After the Ballon d'Or comeback by Ronaldo, Messi came back with a bang, with the famous treble win, with the magnificent MSN trio. They won the La Liga, UCL, Copa del Rey, and FIFA Club World Cup. Messi scored 52 goals and assisted 26, while Neymar scored 31 and assisted 20, which the stat speaks for itself. Fans argue that Messi contributed less in the deeper parts in the tournament than Neymar, but in my opinion, each game is as important as the other, so I will say Messi served his 2015 Ballon d'Or. After four years, Messi wins yet another Ballon d'Or in 2019. Fans argue that VVD, short form for Virgil, Van Dijk should have won the award. In that year, Messi won the La Liga. Copa del Rey, Super Copa de España, and scored 54 goals, assisted 22. On the other hand, VVD won the UCL, UEFA Super Cup, FIFA Club World Cup, and got 17 clean sheets and 689 tackles. Although it is difficult to compare the stats, being a defender is way harder than a forward, and those stats are unbelievable for a defender. Additionally, VVD won bigger trophies. Some may argue that VVD did it with a better team. In the end, football is a team game. Unfortunately, really gotta say that VVD have to replace Messi in 2019. In 2021, many football fans vouch for Lewandowski. Even Leo himself shared his opinion. You know that the Lewa deserved the 2021 Ballon d'Or when the GOAT himself voiced out his intrusive thoughts while holding that Ballon d'Or. Last, the present. Christmas is just around the corner, so a sub to the channel will be a charismatic Christmas gift. In 2023, Messi has swapped positions with Iniesta in 2010, and Haaland takes Messi's position. Messi won the League One, French Super Cup, and the World Cup, scoring 38 and assisting 25, while Haaland won the UCL, FA Cup, Premier League, UEFA, Super Cup, and scoring 56, assisting the in the case of stats. Haaland has 3 G a more than Messi, so the real question is, is the World Cup worth more than UEFA, Super Cup, UCL, quality difference between Premier League and League One, and the 3 GA? According to Tua's source, the EPL got 96, while the League One got 58 points. Therefore, 1.65 League Ones are equal to 1 Premier League. With that, I will say Lionel Andres Messi, Cuticini, deserved his 2023 Ballon d'Or. In conclusion, Messi served only 4 Ballon d'Ors, in my opinion. With that, I would like to say... The Ballon d'Or! Hello, I'm... Done. And I make challenge videos, tech review videos, and football videos. And do subscribe as well, support me a lot. 
थैंक यू बाय